Okay, so this is our last lesson in Chapter 9. Um, we're not going to get uh, assessed on this lesson, but some of these concepts do show up later on. Um, so you want to make sure you do understand it. You do want to make sure you understand it. Um, oh, Michael, I received your email too late. Did you ever go and take it? Yeah. You got it? You, you got it all figured out? Okay. All right. Um, my diagram's cut off. Can someone tell me these points that are here? E on the bottom? E on the top, A on the bottom? Thank you. Okay. So basically what this lesson is about, um, we're talking about three-dimensional figures. And the first three-dimensional figure we're going to talk about is a rectangular solid. So in the rectangular solid, you have six faces, right? What do I mean when I say six faces? Well, this room can be a rectangular solid. Um, and basically, each of the rectangles in this room is considered a face. So the ceiling is a face. The floor is a face. The sides are faces. The board and the window sides are faces. So each rectangle that makes up the rectangular solid is called a face. Okay, um, the edges. The edges are the sides that make up the rectangles. So for example, AB is an edge. FC is an edge, FG is an edge, HG is an edge. Do we understand? So the edges are the sides that make up the rectangles. What are the rectangles called? The The rectangles are called the faces. So the rec why are they still talking? The rectangles are the faces. The sides that make up the rectangles are called the edges. All right, so now a diagonal of a rectangular solid um, is not me taking a Sharpie and drawing a diagonal on the ceiling. That's not a diagonal of the rectangular solid. Me taking a Sharpie and drawing a diagonal on the ceiling is a diagonal of the face. Right? A diagonal of a solid goes from corner to corner, meaning it has to cut across the whole room. So if I'm creating a diagonal of a solid, I could go up there by the window corner, cut across all your heads and go right down there by that door corner. So diagonal of a whole rectangular solid has to cut across the whole entire classroom. Really? We're still talking here? Okay, so what if I drew AC? What is AC considered? of the what? Of the face. Good. This is a diagonal of one of the faces. All right, I'm going to wait for these announcements to finish. They've never been so loud in my life. They're reading a yeah, the poem is the most important thing. I'm from Colorado. Okay, that's what. My oldest daughter is separating. The tears are they done? I'm trying to be spying someone right now. I gaze on the forest and burn out with the hair rubber with a packet of birth meat and a change of clothes. I crafted in two hours. You guys know who they're talking about? I have no idea. What? Not yet. We have um, a tournament in two weeks, and that will be the end of it. I'm so sorry. 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 I'm so
I got a tournament in Hamilton. I like the soft field. That's not good. And like these are the fields that like have all the farm equipment on them. I am so proud. No, that's not good. So effortless, so surreal. I don't know how you're talking about it. I cannot be comprehended. Except by my permission. By me, I can fly. Like a bird in the sky. Thank you for tuning in with us this Black History Month. We all hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful day. Okay, so okay. here, let's look at our first example. It says the dimensions of a rectangular solid are 3, 5, and 7. When they're talking about dimensions three-dimensional, they're talking the, about the length, the width, and the height. Here's a little note for you. It does not matter which number you put as the length, which number you put as the width, and which number you put as the height, as long as they're each one of them. Um, so you can manipulate things to make your life a little bit easier. Now, we want to find the diagonal. Did they say the diagonal of the face? No, they're saying the diagonal of the figure. What's the diagonal of the figure in this diagram? Ask her. HB is the diagonal of the figure. So they want us to find the diagonal of the figure, which is HB. Now, I've already labeled it for you. So I have 3, 5, 7. Now, do you see this blue triangle in here? All right, do you agree that if GC is 5, that HD is also 5? Why? Why is HD5? How did we know that? Yeah, like do you see rectangle HGD, uh, HGCD? Do we see that rectangle? In a rectangle, aren't opposite sides congruent? So if GC is 5, HD is also 5. So I found one side of that blue triangle. Now, I would love to find DB. Does anyone have any ideas on how I can find the length of DB? Simon. Find the diagonal of, of uh, why should they find the length of DB? How? Uh, the diagonal here. You got it. Does everybody see the bottom face, the base there on the bottom, D, C, B, A? Hey, and we know what shape is that, that floor. That floor is a rectangle. All the faces are rectangles. So we know we have all right angles. D, B is that segment right there. We know D, A is 3, A, B is 7. Can I use the Pythagorean theorem right here? on this triangle to find db, so I'll call this x. So we're going to say 3 squared plus 7 squared equals x squared. 9 plus 49 equals x squared. 58 equals x squared. Root both sides. x equals the root of 58. Um, I do not believe, can we break this down? Maybe, maybe not. Can we? 2 and no, we can't. So we have just the root of 58 here. No, 2 can go into it because it's an even number. Why can't you just know if you're doing D, A, and C, B, why can't you tell that like, since it's opposite sides that C, B would be 3 and D, C would be 7? We do know that, but it's not going to help us because we need to find DB. So we can find HB. Exactly. Okay, so now look at the blue triangle. We have our right angle there, so we're looking at triangle HDB. This is 5, this is root 58, and we'll call this Y. Can I use the Pythagorean theorem again? Yeah, I can use the Pythagorean theorem again. So now we're going to say 5 squared plus root 58 squared equals y squared. 5 squared is 25. What's root 58 squared? 58. 25 plus 58 is 83 equals y squared. Root both sides. 
y is equal to the root of 83. Did we find the length of the diagonal? Yeah. Yeah, so we are done. HB equals root 83 units long. Okay, now sometimes, depending on the information I gave you, it's easier just to label things and keep doing the Pythagorean theorem until you find the diagonal. But other times, it's a lot easier just to use a formula. And there is a formula to find the diagonal of a rectangular solid. So that's right here, formula for the diagonal of rectangular solid. D for diagonal equals the root of length squared plus width squared plus height squared. So doing the above problem that we just did, let's use the formula. Remember in the above problem, our, we had 3, 5, 7. So we have length, width, height. So the diagonal would be the square root of 3 squared plus 5 squared plus seven squared. You know what you're not allowed to do? You're not allowed to just cancel out the squared. So you can't just say, okay, well, these cancel, these cancel, these cancel with the square root. So we're just three plus five plus seven. That's wrong. You can't do that because there's pluses inside underneath the radical. As soon as there's um, pluses or minuses inside the radical, you cannot cancel out those squareds we actually have to square them and try to simplify. So here it would be D is equal to the root of three squared, which is nine, plus five squared, which is 25, plus seven squared, which is 49. And now we add 25 plus nine is 34, 34 plus 49 is 83. D is equal to the root of 83. Isn't that the same answer we got the other way? Yes. Okay, let's do a problem. The dimensions of a rectangular solid are in the ratio of three to four to five. If the diagonal is 200 root two, find the three dimensions. Find the three dimensions. Okay. Well, they're talking about the diagonal of the solid, and we have a formula for the diagonal of the solid, right? D is equal to the root of L squared plus W squared plus H squared. But this time, what are they saying? They're saying the diagonal is 200 root 2. Where am I putting that 200 root 2? Instead of the? Instead of which variable in our equation? D instead of D. So this is 200 root 2 equals the root of. Now, they're not telling us the length, the width, the height. They're saying the ratio is 3 to 4 to 5. Who remembers the minute I take numbers out of a ratio and I put them in a diagram or I put them into an equation, what should I write with it? You put an X. So this is going to be 3X squared plus 4x squared plus 5x squared. Are we okay so far? Okay, so now we have 200 root 2 is equal to 9x squared plus 16x squared plus 25x squared. Can I add them all together? Yeah, yeah. so now we get 200 root 2 is equal to um, 9 plus 16 is 25. 25 plus 25 is 50x squared. Can I simplify 50, the root of 50x squared? Yeah, 100% yeah, we can. The root of 50x squared, 50 is 25 and 2. 25 is 5 and 5. x squared, isn't that x times x? All right, so what's coming on the outside? One five and one X. What's staying on the inside? A two, you got it. So now what do I get? I get 200 root two equals five X root two. 
Do we all agree I need to solve for x? Yeah. All right, since I'm solving for x, what am I going to do? I need to divide by, Maya? 5 root 2. Five root two. You got it. So the fives cancel, the root twos cancel. On the left side, do the root twos also cancel? Yeah. Yes, so then I'm just left with 200 divided by 5, which is 40. All right, so 40 is x. Now that I know that 40 is x, can I find the dimensions? Yeah, we're going to plug in. So the dimensions... 3x, 4x, 5x are going to be 120, 160, and 200. We're not, but you do need to know it because it will be showing up in later units. All right, are we ready for the next one? So it says a cube is a rectangular solid in which all the edges are congruent. All right, so what's a rectangular solid um, if all the edges are congruent? What does that mean for the faces? The faces aren't rectangles anymore. If all the edges are congruent, the faces are what? Squares, very good. The faces are now squares. So here, they're saying I have a cube. And it says um, the perimeter of a face is 20. Well, what do we know about all the sides of the faces? All the sides are congruent. So if the perimeter is 20, what is each edge going to be? The perimeter is 20, each edge will be 20. It's not a hard question. It's not a trick question. Five. Thank you, Sam. Each edge will be five. Five, 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 five. So when it says find the diagonal of the cube, well, is a cube a rectangular solid? Yes, no, maybe, is it? Yes. Since a cube is a rectangular solid, can I use the formula for it? Yeah, D equals the root of L squared plus W squared plus H squared. But since it's a cube and all the sides are congruent, what do we know about our length, our width, and our height? They're all what? They're all how long? Five. Five squared plus five squared plus five squared. So D will equal the root of 25 plus 25 plus 25. So D will equal the root of 75. Can I simplify this? Absolutely. So we are 25 and 3, and then 25 is 5 and 5. So D will equal 5 root 3. Okay, regular square pyramid. All right. In a, um, a pyramid is um, usually called by its base. So when it says a regular square pyramid, that means the base of this pyramid is a square. Right? Um, so the base of the pyramid is a square. The very tippy top point, this point P, is called the vertex. The altitude of a pyramid starts at the vertex and goes straight down to the very middle of the base and makes a right angle. But because it connects to the very middle point, the very um, midpoint of the base, it's halfway to any of the sides. So for example, if J to K is eight units long, how long is R to S? since the altitude has to connect to the midpoint, the midsection of the base. So the whole length is JK, so from R to S would have to be, Oscar? Four. Four. All right, 
Now, the altitude is the height of the whole entire pyramid. All right, there's something called the slant height. The slant height is the height of one of the faces, the height of one of the faces. So for example, PS is the slant height. It's not the height of the whole pyramid, it's the height of the base, I mean of the face. Now the slant height also, since it is a height, it is perpendicular to the side it connects to, but it also bisects the side it connects to. All right, the lateral faces, the lateral faces are the triangles, and the lateral edges are the sides that make up the triangles. So the lateral faces are the triangles that make up the pyramid, and the lateral edges are the sides that make up the triangles. All right, are we ready to do a problem? The regular square pyramid shown with altitude PR and slant height PS. It's telling us the perimeter of JKMO is 40. Well, what shape, since this is a regular square pyramid, what shape does JKMO have to be? Maya. It is a square. So if the perimeter is 40, do we agree that each side has to be 10? Yes, we agree on that. All right, so when it says find JK, how long is JK? 10. Then it's telling us PK is 13. That's a lateral edge. PK right here is 13. That's a lateral edge. The next thing we want to do is find PS. What's the name of PS in reference to the pyramid? Maya? The slant height. PS is the slant height in reference to the pyramid. So what I want to do in order to find that slant height, I'm going to know, well, that slant height, doesn't it bisect the side that it connects to? So if, K, if KM is 10, KS is 5 and SM is also 5. Now, I want you all to look at triangle PK, PSK. Do you all see triangle PSK? Now we know KS is 5. We know PK is 13. This is a triple. What is the triple? 5 something 13. 5, 12. So how long is PS? 12. Does anybody know what triangle I'm going to use to find um, PR? Does anybody know what triangle I'm going to use to find PR? Oscar? PRS. You got it. Do you guys see the triangle made with the altitude and the slant height? I just highlighted it in yellow. Do we all see that triangle? Now remember, the altitude connects to the center of the base. Do we all agree on that? If it's connecting to the center of the base, how long is it from R to S? So the whole length is JK. So from R to S would have to be half the length, which is five. So now I'm looking at PRS, triangle PRS. I know RS is five, I know PS is 12. Is this a triple? Is this the five, 12, 13 triple? No, how do I know it's not the 5, 12, 13 triple? Max. Um, because the 13 would have to be the hypotenuse. Good. The 13 would have to be the hypotenuse, and it's not. So in this scenario, what do I have to do? Pythagorean theorem. So y squared plus 5 squared equals 12 squared. y squared plus 25 equals 144. y squared equals... Um, one, one, nine. Root both sides. Y is equal to the root of 119.
how about you guys try this one on your own? Try this one on your own and then we'll go over it. We'll do this problem and we'll do one more and then we'll be done. Does anybody know what time this period ends? 10.07? Okay. Depends. We're done. This was the last section. There's no test. Remember I explained yesterday? This is still the last chapter. So you won't get tested on this unit, but this, um, a lot of this stuff comes up in later chapters, so it will show up yeah. again. So wait, what's, the, what's the homework? The homework's textbook. It should be at the bottom. Do you see that? Are you get rid of any pages, no, we're doing them all. Oh, are we doing uh, Sokotoa next? We are. We're doing trigonometry next. So trigonometry functions? Um, actually, speaking of not the trigonometry we do, we do very basic trigonometry. The trigonometry you do in pre-calculus is going to be hard. Um, speaking of trigonometry unit, um, how many people have a graphing calculator? If, does anybody have it on you to show to show everybody what it is? Okay, thank you. All right, so. This is the graphing calculator. So I'm going to be completely, guys, I'm going to be completely honest here. We don't really need this calculator in this class, but you will use it a lot in Algebra 2. You're going to use it a lot in Algebra 2. So it might be worth investing in now and getting one, um, but you don't have to. Um, but you do need a calculator for trigonometry. So these are a hundred something, like maybe 110 or something. Um, you could probably get it on eBay. People have gotten these like used but in good condition on eBay for like $30. Um, but let's say you don't want to use, you don't want the TI-84. By the way, it's linked on the, on the, um, on my Google Classroom, the calculators that you can use. So this is the TI-84 that you will be using a lot and it will be mandatory for you to buy next year. If you want to jump the gun and buy it now, you can. Okay. For the purpose of our class in trigonometry, the calculator that would also suffice, which is probably like $12, is this one. Anybody have this calculator already? No? Okay, so this is the calculator that would work. It's probably $12 at like Walmart. Okay, um, so this is the TI-30XIIS. You will need this by the second day of trigonometry. So when are we doing the second day of trigonometry? Is that going to be next week now? Well, is that because we start using the functions? Yeah. Okay, so by next week, you need one, you need one of the calculators. I have no calculators for you. So during class, you could use your computer. But on the test, you can't, and I have nothing for you. So we understand? Yes? I might be able to get a few of these, if I'm being honest. I might be able to get a few of these. From the science teachers? I'm um, just from like random math classes. Okay, maybe we should go over this. Mm -hmm. All right, so it's saying the regular square pyramid shown with altitude PY, slant height PR, ID is 14. All right, guys, if ID is 14, what do we know about all the sides of the base? They are 14. All right. We want to find a first, oh, sorry, PY is 24. So there it goes, PY is 24. We want to find AD. How long is AD? 14, thank you, Kyle. All right, now we want to find YR. Remember, the altitude connects to the center of the base. So if the whole length is 14, from Y to R has to be how long? Seven. Next thing we want to do is find PR. Can someone tell me the triangle we're going to use to find PR? What triangle are we going to use to find PR? Oscar told me last time somebody different. What triangle are we going to use to find PR? Maya. Um, nope, that won't help us because we don't have enough in that triangle to find it. You want to try again? PYR, you got it. Do you guys all see this yellow triangle? Isn't this a triple right here? 
seven twenty four. What's the twenty five? So P R is twenty five. Find the perimeter of the base. Well, wouldn't the perimeter of the base be four times fourteen, which is fifty six? And now they want us to find the diagonal of the base. So what am I going to do? I'm going to draw my square base. I D A M. I know each of these sides are 14. And now I'll draw a diagonal, so I'll draw M to D. Since the base is a square, what do we know about all the angles in a square? They are? All the angles are 90 degrees. And what do the diagonals do to the angles? Bisect them. So aren't these 45, 45, 90 triangles? So what is it? X, X, and then the hypotenuse is? X root 2. So what is the diagonal? 14 root 2. All right, you all try independent number one, and then we will call it a day. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, let's go over this. BD is a diagonal that forms the right triangle BAD. Find AD. Well, since this is a rectangular solid, aren't all the faces rectangles? So if BC is 3, AD is also 3. Now I want to find DB. In order to find DB, I'll zoom in here. Do you guys all see that triangle on the base? This is a triple, three, four, five. So DB is five. All right, so now they want us to find diagonal. I'm sorry, BH is a diagonal that forms the right triangle BDH. Find DH. Well, where is DH? Okay, do you see, I'm going to highlight it in blue. Do we see the back diagonal uh, rectangle here? So if GC is 12, HD is also, what number? 12, because opposite sides are congruent. So DH is 12. Then we want to find BH. All right, I'm going to erase this, and I'm going to highlight uh, the triangle I want to use. Everyone look at HDB. Does everybody see that green triangle I highlighted in here? So the bottom side of the triangle is 5. The height is 12. This is a triple. 5, 12, 13. And AG would just be doing the same thing just on the other side, so it will also be 13. All right, we are done.